Many of us have heard the familiar stories of slave trade in Africa and coming down to Gold Coast, now Ghana to be precise. The story of our dear people being kept in unimaginably tight and dark rooms, being packed like we call it sardines. Such inhuman. The, the light you can see there leads to the chief's palace. Yeah! Are you kidding me? You don't want me? Yeah. <laughs> Main situations that they were put in. Today we are talking of one of the points of which slave trade took place the Osu Castle. Welcome to the Osu Castle. The Osu Castle was built by three different nations the Danish, the Portuguese, and the British. So the Danish came first, and when they came, they came to meet the then chief, who was called Chief Okaikwe. Yes, he was controlling the coastal land of that area as at that time. So they bought the land from him. He accepted it and they went ahead to build the first part of the castle, which was the ground floor. This is how the slaves were made to walk from various slave trade camps to the Osu castle and from the Osu castle to other destinations tied around their neck with these metals from one person to the other and as he said when somebody is pregnant you and your child both are brought into the slavery and then if you don't want to go along the trip you are forced and made to go like you can see somebody nailing down so from here let's move into the castle and see what there is inside And you can see the door over there, black door over there. Yeah, that's their this office. Answer. No, they don't know. The one at the top. Yeah. Oh, middle yeah. one. Yeah. So that's where they build up to. But you can see certain cities is the one. They build it up to this place. You can see this place. The date also changing here. Yeah. And the date also changing here. That means they were buried bit by bit. Yeah. So this is a courtyard. Is the yeah. Okay guys, so we are continuing on the tour and then Mr. Sam said this is the courtyard where the slaves were brought. They will be washed, that is they will be bathed after that. They will put hot iron on their skin to mark them like it's done on animals. And so this is what this courtyard was used for. Now we are going inside the dungeon that was used to keep about 250 people. Let's go. So they open the door so that the sunlight to penetrate here so that their eye cannot be blind. Mm -hmm. That's why they do that. So let me have the two fifty yeah, feet inside. Yeah, yeah. That's all. I will tell you the amount of people who die, mm -hmm. they are out there too crime. They got the slave also increase day by day is increasing. So this is where the water that the slaves were using was kept. It's actually rainwater that had been connected into this tank or this well for them to use. It's uh, one of our currency. It's inside the money that we are using. Okay guys, so Mr. Sam also says that this staircase is on our Ghanaian currency, which he'll be showing us after the tour and this middle section is the part where the president walks when he is visiting this place that is the osu castle so now we are going to walk up the stairs to see what is up there
sea that we see here the the ship or the boat that was used to transit the slaves into this castle will stop in the middle over there and then this small canoes or the small boats will be used to transit them from and to the ship from the middle of the sea so the door of no return or the gate of no return is down here this green tiles we see here let me ask you first what does it look like for you a pool yes that's right he said the british were here they were using this pool as at that time and i told him that so they were chilling all this while all these years there's so much in history that we need to know at this point we're listening to a story about a strong and wise man called asumeni from the eastern region and he devised a plan to be able to defeat the slave masters and he was actually successful this story is one you really need to hear about so when you visit the also pass i believe you'll be told about this and he fell into the sea and used one man to swim from here to Jamestown. This is the Anglican church that is found in the castle and in this place was where the mulatto children, that is the children born by the slaves and their slave masters, this was where they were kept and they were being taught how to read and write from this church. I can't carry it. You can't carry it. It's very heavy. Ah! Ah! You're, 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 you're. Seriously! Hi! Are you kidding me? So we've moved on to this place and Mr. Sam said this building that we see here is an extension that was made by our first president, Osadifu Dr. Kwame Kuma. And then as you can see, the black star that we spoke about in my previous video, it comes here again. That was where he used to stay. That exact location. And also we have this structure right opposite the one that i just told you was for dr kwame and kuma over here was papa jerry john rollins he chose to stay in this structure so that he will have a good view of the gate the independence arc and also the asumjay park so he had a good view of all this location when he chose this building and this was also constructed by Gordon Godisberg. I believe you all remember that name a lot from JHS or Senior High School. Yes, that's history for you. Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> My ear will cry. Hey, the face is that cute. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, this is a dungeon. <laughs> the last dungeon. Yeah. From here to the gate of no return, then you are going from Bible to Africa. So this is a main dungeon. Mm. This tunnel, mm. you go straight to the chief house. The chief's house. Also chief house. Okay. Mm. You're going to have that to one day. The gate of no return. <laughs> now we are out of the dungeon and then we are in front of the gate of no return. This very entrance. And this is the sea where I told you previously that the, boat, the ship would be in the middle of the ocean and then the canoes or the small boats will transport the slaves through this place. So that is where we are standing at the moment this beautiful park that we are walking in used to be a place where some part of the girl community used to reside during those days so this place was taken over from them by the colonial masters where they brought their guns shooting at them so the people had to flee from this place leaving behind some of their belongings so after that this place was beautifully decorated the president has some meetings over at this place when anybody from another country that's the president or dignitaries comes to visit also people can come and have their events over here 
when you get to this park you find on the right corner that there is a god or a shrine at the place yes that is what the gang people left there so during their festivals they come to do what they need to do on this ground it's a very beautiful place that you need to see So that tell us about this bullet proof car we have here. Okay, so as Mr. Sam told us already, um, the American President Clinton brought this car as a gift to ex-president, the late ex-president Jerry John Rollins, and it's a bulletproof car. So as we see, um, this it's a double window. So according to history, or according to what Mr. Sam has told us, Jerry John Rollins used this car for some time and as we know who used to happen in the 1970 in the 1970s a lot so then in one of the events a gun was shot through this and that's how come this side of the car window is broken but it's a very strong car heavy and i'm sure it can move like if it's well fixed today yeah really really heavy bring for the interior oh <laughs> first of you we have come to the end of this beautiful video thank you so much for watching hope you've learned a thing or two about the osu castle and the people who used to live there thank you for passing through do remember to subscribe and leave a like and a comment bye